Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. I'm not even going to go in right now. Let's get right into the damn video. Hey, everybody. So let's talk about um, why black men are not getting married. Why I think so many black men are not getting married. Um, and this is just like, whew, this is something that I've been thinking about. This is something that I've looked into. This is something that I've I've prayed about. And I just like really started to reflect on this. And one of the reasons I feel is because of porn and masturbation. I feel like porn and masturbation has, it, it's like, it's so accessible to go and, and watch porn. Um, it's so easy. You women, you can't be serious, especially you grown women. You really think that men aren't getting married this day and age because they have access to porn and can masturbate. You can't be serious. The reason men are avoiding marriage today is because the government incentivizes women when they go through a divorce or when they go through family court with men's children. That's why men don't want to get married this day and age because they get their pockets ripped off in court. And it's so sad. And I, I mean this. It's so sad that women this day and age can't understand that. Men been had access to porn and, mas and, and could masturbate any given time they want. There were cassette tapes or whatever you want to call it, or old school rails, internet, DVDs. Men could men been doing that for a long men been doing that. Marriage was good back then, but the thing is, things have changed today. Things have changed today. And the government, the way the government incentivizes women, men don't want to marry you because they know it's in a, it's not in their best interest. Why would any man, like many men have said before, why would any man want to sign a contract that's going to benefit you? You women really can't understand that. Why in the hell would a man want to sign a contract that will benefit you? So I, I might as well just hand over my money to you, or at least half of it. I might as well just say, wait a minute, before we sign this contract, let me give you half of everything because I know where this is going to go in the future. That's why men aren't getting married. Has nothing to do with porn or masturbating. To just being able to just look up porn. Um, and I feel like with masturbating, you don't have to emotionally connect to anybody. You don't have to talk to the, communicate with that person, you know, uh, see how that person feels really it is no emotional connection to a person when that person is masturbating. So I just feel like watching porn and masturbation is corrupting men. And it's also, um, just giving them this desire to be alone, to be single. And I also feel like it is creating this perversion. It is a, it's, it's magnifying the spirit of lust inside of their heart. It is causing a, a perverted mind. And I just feel like it is really causing men to not be eager to go out and find their wife. Cause it's like, why find a wife and having to um, communicate with someone having to. Okay. Let's stop it right there real quick. So you think men don't want to go out. We're not eager to find a wife or court any woman out here. Right now you have a YouTube channel. So I assume that you're on the internet or you browse the internet once in a while. And something, sometimes things on the internet just pop up, especially showing what women are doing out here. So you're not you're gonna sit up here and tell me that you don't see how women are pretty much going online telling men where men can't take them to for eat to, to go out to eat. Where men have to take them to on a first date. How they don't want men to approach them at a grocery store. They don't want men to approach them in the woods, in the library. I've done plenty of videos on this. I got a whole catalog of videos like this. Women complain about men approaching them, and then when men stopped approaching them. They even complained more talking about why aren't men approaching us anymore. I told men already, you're damned if you do, 
damned if you don't. But this lady is going to really sit up here and act like men are not trying to find wives. They're not. They're not. And it has nothing to do with going to whack off somewhere or watching lustful videos. It has nothing to do with that. Men have gone their own way and they know what time it is now in the Western world. They know what time it is. And for some reason, I feel like the women are coming online and they're playing mind games to try to bring us back to them. I feel like they're trying to draw men back to them by shaming men because that's all you women seem to, that's all you women seem to know how to do. Let's shame the men into coming back to us. Let's tell the men that if they don't come talk to us they're gay. Let's tell the men that if they don't talk to us they must have a boyfriend or they're watching porno. You have all these shaming tactics you women out there, but the thing is men like I've stated before we've left the plantation and there's no coming back. There's no coming back. As of now, men are treating you women accordingly and you can't stand it. To, you know, being able to have to uh, compromise and and build a connection with a person when I could just go watch porn and masturbate. And I feel like a lot of these men are doing that, which is so sad. But I feel like that is one of the reasons why so many men are not trying to find their wife. I also think that we're not trying to find a wife because we're not trying to lose our life savings. Men don't want to freaking find a wife, stay married to her until they're 60. She ends up waking up because of no fault divorce, talking about she's not happy. Then she takes half your wealth that you were that you were supposed to enjoy in your golden years. What man wants to go? What man what, what man wants to end his life off like that? You know what has to mentally be going through a man, a man's mind when he's married to a lady that he believed loved him and he loved her. Then she wakes up one morning because of no fault divorce and say she's not happy. And then she decides to take that man's wealth when he's about 65 on a verge of retirement, enjoying his golden years. Now he has to work till his dying day and she doesn't give a damn about it. Do you know the mental gymnastics that has to be going on in that man's mind? Do you know you women will never understand that you, you, you will never understand or know what men go through. Never. And that's why men aren't getting married anymore. And for some reason, you women, y'all want to keep throwing these shots at men. Like it's wrong. If we don't get married, we're not doing it. And nothing, nothing is going to make us come back. It's over. It's over. Um, many men like we all know i think social media and just the false reality of social media could be another reason why so many men are not finding their wife because of unrealistic expectations i think they see these uh girls on instagram and they have whose fault is that with the unrealistic expectations is it the men's fault or is it the women's fault for coming online looking the way they look because Women have unrealistic expectations after looking at other women. They will see this girl with their butt done, so they want to get their butt done. They will see this girl over here with lip injections, so they want to get lip injections. Women compete with each other. Men, we're simple creatures. We don't have unrealistic expectations. What we get is what we get. We deal with reality, not a false reality like you women. Most women automatically deal with a false reality just by the way they dress. Putting in lace front wigs, putting on eyelashes, drawing on their eyebrows, six inch fingernails. You are already living in a false reality. Men, we don't have false reality expectations like you women do. Y'all be wearing girdles covering up your fat. You women have a lot of, a, a lot of trickery that comes with you. For the most part, men don't have a lot of trickery that comes with them. What you see is what you get for the most part. Have these uh, plastic surgery bodies and, you know, and the everyday woman that you see out and about don't look like that. And they yeah, already have their mind programmed, you know, because the Instagram model they just saw with the, you know, the 
body the the body that doesn't look natural well it's like well i want my wife to look like and i'm not saying every man is desiring for their wife to look like that but a lot of them do it's affecting the way that men think seeing all these women on social media because the day-to-day -day woman out it's not affecting us believe it or believe it or not a lot of men are tired of what women are doing on social media you know why because it's oversaturated i state this all the time Women have oversaturated social media with so much lust, nakedness, undesirable stuff that men don't even care no more. You can see it on your timeline and scroll right past it and look at a guy fishing. Look at somebody shooting off some weapons. Men, it, it's, it's oversaturated. Women have oversaturated the market with their lustfulness. They're the ones that are lustful. Men aren't. They're the ones, they are the ones that are exposing their bodies every day. Then they come online later talking about men are over-sexualizing them. It's not men's fault. It's not. Out and about, don't look like that. You know what I mean? Because it's unrealistic. And then you have, <laughs> you have filters and you have all this stuff. And actually it's so funny because I've heard men say when they seen these women in person, like, well, she don't look like that in real life. So I think this false reality of social media and programming uh, in the, uh, these men's mind is also causing them to not be eager to go find their wife. Um, I feel like also it needs to be more promoted more in the black home in a, in a way that is loving and positive. So you're seeing healthy marriage. Why don't you tell the government to talk to the black women about that? Because the government, I can tell you right now, the government isn't going to promote that at all. They want to separate the two, uh, the two parent household. They've created a structure to actually separate the two family household to pretty much incentivize women by giving them food stamps, free housing if the man isn't living in that house. They incentivize women. But you know what the problem is? Women like you won't actually come online and tell women to stop doing what they're doing because Women can actually overcome this, but they like the incentives that the government gives them for not having a man, for kicking the baby father or the man out of the household. They like the incentives, but you women won't come online and tell women to stop doing what they're doing. You rather blame men and make it seem as if it's our fault. It's always a man's fault. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. And I stand on that. Marriages. You're seeing long-lasting marriages, and not just a marriage that's last, lasting a long time, but the, the, it's a healthy, loving marriage. These people are still in love with each other. And um, I think seeing that in the home growing up is will make a man more, has have a greater desire to go find his wife, to be eager to go find his wife, and, and want marriage and want a family. Um, and it's so crazy because... You know, I think about scripture, right? And it says a man who finds a wife finds a good thing and he obtains favor from the Lord. Or it also talks about a man like he finds treasure. So that's an, and if you read in other translations, not only a good thing, but they said um, he finds treasure and he obtains favor from the Lord. And so we Yo, real talk. I love God. I believe God died for my God died for our sins and all that. But y'all can miss me with all these Bible verses that you women want to spew out when it when it works in y'all favor. Okay. Y'all can you women always want to come with these Bible verses for things to work in y'all favor. Okay. Y'all can miss me with all that. It also says for better or for worse when it comes to marriage. But for some reason, when a man is doing good in life, you women are there. When it comes to the worst of that man in his life, you women aren't there. You women don't even live by for better or for worse. Let your man be up. You're gonna ride the. You're, you're gonna ride that wave with him. Let your man be down and out. Let's see how many of you women really stick around for better or for worse. I'll wait. I'll wait. Because this day and age, it doesn't seem like women want to stick around for better or for worse when it comes to their husband. Because women, for the most part, are just waking up saying, I don't want to be with you anymore. Look at Judge, Judge Greg Mathis. His wife just divorced him after 39 years of marriage. 39 years.
she initiated divorce first because 80% of women always initiate divorce first. 50 to 60 50 to 60 percent of marriages end in divorce already. What like like miss me with all the Bible verses? I love God, true indeed I do. But y'all, you women want to use God to benefit you when you want to use it. And I'm tired of that. We know based on the Bible, a man that finds a wife, you know, God blesses that man. He blesses him. He obtains favor from God. His light, he's favored by God for finding a, a wife. And that's why I feel like this is so demonic and it's a scheme of the enemy because it is like a setback in that man's life. It's like a spirit of delay or a spirit of setback in his life. And the enemy doesn't want a lot of these men, especially the men in the black community, I noticed to get ahead or advance because he finds a wife and he finds that good thing and obtains favor. So from it's all our fault. It's all the man's fault that we don't want to get married, but you're not going to say anything about these women. So we should advance in life. We only can really advance in life is if we marry these women. But when we do marry these women, these women end up waking up, like I stated, they end up waking up one morning and saying they want to divorce us because they don't want to stick around for better or for worse. And that doesn't mean that the man cheated on them or abused them at all. They just wake up one morning and don't want to be with you anymore. So they can hop on a different pogo stick. What, what am I missing here? You can miss me with all the bull crap. From the Lord, what is that going to do? That's going to bless his family. It's going to bless his generation because it's going to bless his offspring. And so um, I feel like it is a like a, a, a scheme of the enemy, a tactic of the enemy to keep the black family just not prospering. To keep the black family not prospering and so this is this is sad and so i feel like a lot of times when we talk about these things guys y'all have to understand there is a spiritual a spiritual side to this stuff it's not everything is not what it appears to be so when men are blaming women and women are blaming men and there's a bunch of like going back and forth not realizing this thing is actually more spiritual than you even think this is very spiritual um, even the promotion of, uh, the LGBT community and just the promoting of same sex inside of our country and how it's so acceptable. And it just makes me think again, it's a, it's a tactic of the enemy for men to desire each other and for women to desire each other. And it just makes me think guys, like, I've really been praying about this, but there is a lot of um, homosexuality within our community. There's a lot of homosexual black men. And I am just being honest, guys. I'm not trying to be, I because listen, everything that I say, I'm in prayer about. So I'm not just saying, I'm actually praying. I'm not just talking about it. I'm actually in prayer about it. But there is a lot of this going on in our community. And um, I feel like, for one, what has been revealed to me, this has a lot to do with generational curses and bloodline. It's uh, sexual spirits and perverted spirits and homosexual spirits coming from the bloodline. So this is not something that is new. It is not something that just started. It just begun. No, these things that I'm talking about, and we'll talk a little bit more about this and go deeper into it, but this is like bloodline things. This is coming through from ancestors, uh, this homosexual spirits. And yeah, so guys, this is a lot. And that's another reason why a lot of our men are not desiring a woman because they are desiring the same sex. And I'm just being honest. And this is happening a lot. And it's guys that you least expect. And because it's it's a spiritual thing. So, uh, yeah. These are some of the things that as I was in prayer that was coming up in my spirit. And so, guys, we have to be definitely praying for our community. And, yeah. We definitely have to be praying for our community and praying about generational curses and what's going on throughout the bloodline within our race.
because when you start tapping in what was what was going on and what's going on in our blood and our generation with our ancestors a lot of stuff started getting revealed to you in the spirit spiritually speaking and how to deal with these issues and how to deal with these things because let's stop the damn video right there your boy mabw can definitely agree with you on the last part i can agree with you on the last part but this is one thing i do find funny a lot of women out there especially black women you're cool with homosexual men until it affects you a lot of black women are cool with homosexuals they're cool with them until it affects them I've been speaking out about them homosexuals. I've been speaking out speaking out about the LGBTQ community. And I state all the time that black women love being cool with homosexuals, but then when it really affects you, that's when it's a problem. But men, what do you think about this video? Do you think that we're avoiding marriage because we want to watch porn? We want to go whack off somewhere? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.